This is what our white phlox looks like on June 3rd. We've had this here for over 20 years. It was here when we moved here. So, as far as a healthy plant, it's, it's a sturdy, dependable bloomer every year. July 18th, and this is what it looks like in the middle of the summer. It's a welcome addition to our flower bed, and I'm sure it would be to yours. Here it is, August 3rd, and this one is in full bloom. It's the tallest one. But we have some that are kind of way past their prime, and these need to be deadheaded, so I'll do be doing that today. And if you notice down here, from the end of my finger is, it'll grow little sh side shoots if you deadhead them, and those will try to bloom, so you can get some prolonged uh, flowering. Okay, it's been a while since I deadheaded these, and as you can see, in these leaf joints, we got uh, new sprouts coming out. And those should produce more flowers. So if you want to keep your tall phlox flowering, you just simply deadhead it when the flowers look bent, and it should produce side shoots with more flowers. Pretty easy just to Here's our white phlox that we deadheaded, and it's just now starting to produce more flowers. So we'll be checking back and take a look at it after it flowers out. But as you can see, you know, we're going to have a nice bunch of additional flowers just by taking a few minutes to deadhead. It's September 6th, and thanks to our deadheading earlier, we're now enjoying a nice rebloom of these tall white flocks. As you can see, they've done really well. And then look down below, you can see about where I deadheaded, and then all the little side shoots that have come out and bloomed. Looks pretty nice, and it's not even in full bloom yet, so it'll continue to get better. As you can see, there's quite a few little flowers that haven't opened, so those, these will look nice in a couple weeks.